are actually practicing your forearm the whole day and further push it with the weights which you use in the gym or at home or anywhere which you can find a dumbbell or a plate to use as your forearm exercise. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I share honest information about fat loss and fitness. I am Bong and today we are going to talk about forearms. If you are one of those forearm fanatics, stick to the end to find out a tip which you can use to train your forearms. In one of my previous videos, I talk about how forearm makes men manly, especially when they wear short sleeves. And even when you roll up your long sleeves, you still look very manly. And I think one of the least trained body part is the forearm. Because a lot of people, they focus on bicep, the tricep, on the arms, especially the shoulders and every other part. Okay, so I think um, it is one part that nobody actually trains them seriously. But if you have a solid forearms, well, it makes a big difference. You know, previously, I always try to impress people with what I call magic trick, but this is quite normal. I guess if you actually have a very defined sort of um, forearms, you can actually do it too. Let's start off with one of those few workouts for the other part of the arm that actually indirectly affect the forearm, which is the reverse curl. So when you actually train your reverse curl, you are hitting the brachial radialis of your arm. Things of brachial radialis of your forearm. Yes, brachial radialis of the forearm as well as the or the scientific name bicep okay let's just call it bicep right okay so this is one part of the forearm exercise indirectly indirectly hitting it and the other one is actually a straight reverse uh, wrist grip reverse curl okay so you have the duckling head and the straight wrist Okay, so both this exercise actually indirectly hit your forearms. Go to watch my bicep exercise video. I think around here or here. Okay, somewhere up there. Just click it. Okay, it will indirect. It will directly bring you to that video. And now let's get straight into the forearm exercise. One of the most basic ones is a normal grip uh, wrist curl okay normal grip wrist curl what do you do find it is important to find a good stable footing for your forearms okay and leave your wrist dangling by the side okay dangling okay dangling I like to rest my forearm on my quads because this way I can actually focus more on trying to press it down. You can actually find a bench or a table or something which is soft on the surface and push it downwards, okay? Make sure that it is very stable. So in this example, I'm going to use my quads, okay? So first step, leave it dangling. Second, take the other arm which you're not using, hold your forearm down and just curl it up, okay? If you're doing it correctly and it's impossible to do it wrongly, you will feel a movement here, okay? This is the first grip, okay? Remember, don't go sideways and twist and turn and all those things, you know? It's very simple. One, two step, okay? Press, hold your forearm and just Curl it upwards and then down. Okay, this is the first one. The other one is a reverse curl. Okay, let's use the other arm. Okay, a reverse curl, same thing. Remember, a very stable footing that doesn't rock around is the first thing which you need to find. 
place it on your quad or a table or bench or whichever area where there's a cliff by the side okay so we show you the regular grip now the reverse grip same thing remember hold it down and just curl it upwards okay slowly okay again don't twist and turn and do all those fancy things it's very simple start with the basic okay basic get the foundation correct and you will be able to well like what they say know the rules in order to break the rules but in this video please don't break the rules first follow it step by step do it correctly get the foundation correct foundation correct and you will be able to go further all right remember hold down the forearm and just twist it up right curl it up okay it's a reverse curl so this reverse curl as you can see is hitting this area of the forearm okay you can see it and the regular curl is hitting this whole chunk of forearms okay what about the sign yeah okay there are many ways to do it one is to leave your arms dangling make sure the weight is in front okay further upwards in front and Again, I couldn't emphasize more. Remember to hold down your upper arms and your forearms. Don't swing, okay? There's no point swinging, okay? And just, you know, at the wrist, okay? At the wrist, okay? Curl it at the wrist, okay? Then this other one, which is the one behind, okay? Remember, hold down the upper arm and the forearm so that it will not swing around like a swing okay we are not playing the swing okay it's not a seesaw it is to focus on the forearms so in order to do that it's the wrist work this well it also helps you to train your wrist strength as well okay as well as your grip so when you go for orders chin up and then uh, deadlift it actually improves your grip because once your forearm is strong your grip will be strong okay so remember hold it down you don't have to get a cable tie or anything to tie it down just make sure that it is as stable as possible and just okay the starting point and the finishing point is go behind okay so this is the second form go behind and shift the weight forward and this is the first form okay so this is the I keep on forgetting the scientific name but I'm gonna put it down right in the videos. Okay, so this area works the front part of it and this area works the hind part of it. Okay? And of course there are many other ways other than this fall motion which helps you to train your forearms. This is one of those exercises which you can actually find inside Arnold Schwarzenegger's Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding. It is placed under bicep exercise. Start with your arm straight down, leave it dangling, hold it tight, grip the dumbbells. Okay? So a lot of a lot of you when you do this twist, twisting motion, twisting stretch, bicep stretch motion. Okay, you actually turn the whole arm. What I'm gonna tell you is hold it tight and just let the wrist twist. Okay, probably if you're using a very light dumbbell, you won't really feel it. But if you are using a uh, well heavier dumbbells or heavier plates or anything, you'll actually feel it trying to swing you on the other side. So remember, the trick is to control the speed. Okay, turn. Don't let the weight uh, guide you. Don't let the weight lead you. Okay, you are supposed to lead the weight. You are supposed to control the weight. Okay, so hold down the bicep and let the dumbbell will turn. Okay, don't let it swing on its own. Control it and make sure that you are the person who is controlling the dumbbell. And of course, with these few forms, you can use, well, be creative. Okay, you can do standing one. 
Okay, you can do it standing and curling behind. Okay, but of course I would advise you to find a good footing because try it. You'll feel that your muscles is working harder. Now, let's get into what you shouldn't do for your forearms. Okay, these are some of the mistakes which I see a lot of people do. Number one, they never anchor down their forearms. Okay, so when they go down, see, I don't really understand. See, when you do that, right, you are training which part of your muscles. Okay, don't swing it. Make sure that you anchor it down. This is one of the mistakes that most people do. See, they go down and they do that. They lift it up, or they do this. So it's not actually working your forearms, okay? Don't do that. Make sure that you anchor down the forearms and don't let it move, okay? And the second one is like what I say. Those... I can feel my, my elbow twisting, okay? Don't let the weight well, lead you, okay? Don't let the weight lead you. The third mistake which people do when they train their forearms is that they use a weight which they cannot handle. Well, you look cool and strong, but you're not actually training your forearms, okay? It's just feeding your ego. So remember, don't use a weight that you cannot handle and you end up using rocking the whole body instead of just using your wrist to curl the weight up. Now, the tip which can help you to train your forearm even more efficiently. So I believe everyone knows that we use our forearms just as we use our calves daily. Well, it is used to uh, probably 10-20 thousand of repetitions a day with your everyday task. Imagine you go grocery shopping, you are carrying your plastic bags, your bags, or you are writing on your keyboard. Every day, you are actually using your forearms. So it is used to those repetitions. And the tip that I'm going to give you is that forearms exercises need to be moderate in weight and high in repetition. I mean extremely high in repetition. Similar to your calves. You see, a lot of people, they don't understand about calves training and forearm training. Okay, you use your calves every day, you use your forearms every day. I've, I've said earlier, right? That is why you should push it harder with higher repetitions compared to your daily task. Meaning that, well, you do on high repetition but the weight is different, right? So when you use a dumbbell, when you use a weight plate, or with, when you use a barbell or cable or rope, it increases the weight load on the, well, the forearm exercise itself. And so it is like you are actually practicing your forearm the whole day and further push it with the weights which you use in the gym or at home or anywhere which you can find a dumbbell or a plate to use as your forearm exercise. So the trick is high repetitions with a moderate weight which you can actually use to do a perfect, well, near perfect form. Okay, high repetitions, let it burn, let it soar, let it go sour as possible and you keep on pushing. Usually I push it until a point where it felt like it's about to cramp. And that is when you know you have pushed your forearms to its limitations. I hope this video of mine helps you to understand more about your forearm training and the next time you go into the gym, you, well, give it a shot and try to get it burning, okay? If it's not burning, you're not training it hard enough because forearms need your delicate, passionate love to train it. If you have not subscribed, please like if this video has helped you with your forearm training and, well, it helps me to support me to make more content for you in the future. And remember to share it to all your friends who are struggling with their forearm exercise and they would like to know some tips and guide to how they can train their forearm properly. And remember, please hit the subscription button so that I will give me some support, right? And as well as smash that notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time I upload another new video. And as always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.
Because your, your weight is so far forward, you end up falling, falling towards the front. Okay? So it's either you have both.